months of intense debate on various public platforms in Ghana over the dire economic situation in the country, the Akufuad led government finally sought a bailout from the International Monetary Fund. On the 1st of July 2022, the government of Ghana formally wrote to the Bretton Woods Institution concerning its decision to engage the latter for a possible financial bailout to restore macroeconomic stability and safeguard debt sustainability for the country. Following the July 1st formal application of the government of Ghana to the IMF, the IMF confirmed the receipt of Ghana's application for support. Then came a team from the Bretton Woods Institution to Ghana on the 6th of July to commence negotiations on July 7. After successful negotiations and reciprocated visits, the government in December 2022 reached a staff level agreement with the fund as part of processes leading to a bailout. Days after launching a bold domestic bond overhaul, which was a requirement, Ghana continued in a quest to pursue the $3 billion loan deal with the International Monetary Fund. But domestic resistance to the bond revamp threatened to stall that effort. The to-do list for Ghana's embattled government was long. Pushing through a domestic debt exchange without hurting its financial system, negotiating restructuring of $13 billion in international bonds and executing spending cuts and tax rises. Overseas, investors have welcomed both the local debt exchange, which aims to swap bonds for longer maturities, cut interest rates and pause interest payments until 2024, and the IMF deal, which still requires board approval to help address Ghana's worst economic crisis in history. The Labour Front was agitated for weeks, nearly months, but government eventually found a way and tempers were calm. As part of efforts for Ghana to increase its tax net, to put it in a better position to obtain the loan from the IMF, government proposed three taxes. After the back and forth in parliament, the House approved the bills. The only stumbling block to Ghana seeing the end of the IMF requirement tunnel then became China. Ghana needed a debt relief from China. Experts predicted tough negotiating processes because of China's posture. But the desire for China to deepen its relationship with Africa and Ghana in the face of a new scramble for Africa by the West, plus the call by the IMF for Ghana to speed up debt relief processes for debt-stricken countries like Ghana caused China to soften their stand. This was corroborated by Ghana's finance minister, Kinoforeta, upon his return from China. As Ghana hopes to take a big step towards restructuring its $58 billion worth of debt this week, with its bilateral creditors meeting on Tuesday to discuss whether to approve enough relief to unlock a $3 billion bailout, the IMF board approval may just be a few steps away.